Hi fitness friends. Today we have Legs on Fire written by our dear fitness friend named Kristen. So if you like this workout, make sure you tell her in the comments section. All right, this routine promises to kill our lower body. We'll be using a heavy weight, a 16 inch elevation, and my ball. Actually, you don't need any equipment at all for this routine. However, if you do at least have some heavy weights to add, it will definitely make this routine more challenging for you. You'll burn more calories, you'll be able to build more muscle. So if you have something to use, grab it, okay? We'll be doing hip portions, Tabata portions, as many rounds of possible portions, and rep based sections. So this routine will move fast, it'll keep you interested. Let's get warmed up, grab your equipment, get some water, and let's get ready to get our legs on fire. All right, I hope you're all warmed up and ready to go. Our first set is 30 second intervals, five seconds rest, okay? These are glute activation moves and it will make your booty burn. We're doing a frog bridge where your feet are together, your knees are out wide, pulsing up and down into a bridge. We're gonna do a prone frog glute, glute raise pulse. You'll see what that looks like. And we're also gonna do glute hyperextensions on our ball. If you don't have a ball, you'll be right on your belly on the floor, raising your legs up and down, okay? We only have five second rests in between these 30 second intervals, so we'll be moving quickly in between these positions. Frog glute bridges first, so you're on your back, your feet are together, arms are down, lower back is flat against the mat. Press up, squeeze that butt. Don't sit it down in between, just keep going up and down. Breathe it out. You can add weight here if you want. Squeeze it up and down. Nice work. You'll really start to feel your glutes get pumped up with this move. And the other two that follow. Okay, we're just flipping it over on our butt, all our stomachs. You're gonna keep your knees out wide, feet together, and lift and lower like this. You can go ahead and put your hand, head right on top of your hands. You don't want to strain your neck. Nice work. Don't rest those legs on the ground. You're gonna bring them down for a second before you pulse it back up. Good work. I'm gonna quickly grab my ball and we're gonna be doing glute extensions on that. So you're laying on front, get your hands on the floor and lift and lower your legs. Again, if you don't have a ball, you're staying in that same position you were just in on the floor and getting your feet apart and lifting and lowering them. If you're on a ball, or a couch cushion or anything that you can put underneath your hips. You just have a little bit more range of motion here. Make sure you're squeezing through your glutes. You'll feel this in your hamstrings too. Nice job. All right, we are back to the top. We have those frog glute bridges. Here we go. Feet together, knees out wide. Squeeze it up. There's like no rest here in between these moves. So your butt's gonna get pumped up. Nice work, make sure your back stays flat. Keep your stomach sucked in and focus on squeezing your butt. Okay, flip it over onto your belly for the glute raises in a frog position. You can do these on your ball too if you want. Sometimes I feel these even more on the ground because I'm working harder to get that range of motion. Keep your heels and feet together. Pulse it up. Good job. Stay here. Keep going. Grab your ball. Get over it. Here we go. Lift and lower. Make sure you're still breathing. If you want to add ankle weights to this, that'll make it a nice challenge. 
Okay, the last time through these moves, go back to the frog glute bridge. So feet together on your back, bring it up. Ooh, is your butt starting to burn? <laughs> Mine is. Keep going. All right, flip it over, feet stay together. Here we go, up. Don't rest those legs on the mat. I know it's tempting to do it, but they should just barely touch the ground before you bring them back up. Tension on those glutes throughout this whole 30 second interval. Okay, grab your ball. Here we go. Get those legs going up. Squeeze your butt. You might feel this a little bit in your lower back and then your hamstrings too, but focus on your butt. Nice work. All right, we are finished with our first round of 30 second interval glute activation. We're gonna move on to our second. We're doing single leg hip thrusts. I'm gonna use my ball, and I'm also gonna put my foot on my elevation to get a little bit of a different angle. If you have access to both of these, this will be a great challenge. Um, so we're doing two single leg hip thrusts, and then we're putting both feet down and putting some weight on our hips for a double leg hip thrust. So we're pausing at the top of that Double leg hip thrust. I'm going to hit start. 10 second countdown is on. So I'm going to keep one of my weights close to me here. Get myself set. Single leg hip thrust. If you don't have a ball or an elevation, you're doing this on the ground. Try as hard as you can to get those hips up nice and high. I feel these like a knife in my butt. <laughs> Good work. You can also do these on just your ball. Switch legs. Here we go. Make your balance. Figure out what do you want to do with your arms? to keep yourself balanced on your ball. These single legs are so challenging. Nice work. Okay, grab your weights and then across your hips. Put both feet on your elevation or both feet on the floor. Get it going. Do this on the floor in a regular bridge position. Both work. Okay, back to that first leg again. So set that weight down. Here we go. my ball, my wobbling. <laughs> okay, switch legs.
may notice your balance is more challenging on one side versus your other. Especially if you're elevating both your feet and your back. Okay, grab your weight. Sit on those hips. Here we go. Squeeze at the top. We're supposed to be pausing up here. I forgot that on the first round. Squeeze and pause. And down. All right, we're back to the single leg. This is our last round. So get that weight out of your way. Single leg up. Let's go. Nice work. This is so hard. Okay, switch legs. I am already starting to sweat. <laughs> Here we go. Down, up. Just the balancing act here is challenging it up for me. Remember, if you don't have this, well, if you don't have a ball or an elevation, just put one leg on the ground, go into a bridge, and hip thrust. All right, get your weight, set it across. As comfortably as you can. Get them going. Squeeze at the top, pulse it. Pause, and down. Up and pause, and down. work. Okay. Whew. Our glute activation phase of this workout is done. We're moving on to 50 second intervals. All right. So I'm going to reset my timer. We're going through these three moves three times again. We're doing a single leg sit to stand to a kick to a side squat. So I'll show you what that looks like without weight. I am going to put my vest on and hold one weight like a goblet at my chest. So you're sitting back, kneel back to your heel, stand up, kick, side squat. Bring that leg back up and go for it again. Okay? So sit, kick, side squat. Up again. All right? All right. I'm going to get my vest on a while. And like I said, I'm going to hold one 24 pound weight at my chest for this. One leg for a whole 50 second intervals, and we'll switch legs the next interval. And then we're also doing a sumo squat with an alternating heel raise. So your legs are out wide, toes are out wide, down for a sumo, heel raise, up, down, heel raise, up. I'm going to hold one weight at my chest for that too, okay? All right, let's do it. 10 second countdown has started, beginning with the sit to stand, to kick, to side squat. Three, Here we go. Two, one. So sit back to your heel, stand up, kick, side squat. Get back again. Up, kick, side squat. Nice job. Make this movement slow, controlled, nice and flowing. Make that kick powerful. When you sit in your squat, stick your butt back behind you. Keep your form. And one. Set your weight down in between your ten sec or five seconds only. 
So let's go on the other leg. Sit back, sit back to your heel, stand, kick, side squat, and repeat. Nice work. Feel that supporting leg start to burn. Press all the way up through your heel when you're standing. Nice work. Good job, you have 15 seconds here. And we'll move on to our sumos. Okay, sumo spots. I'm gonna hold my weight down in between my legs. Toes out wide, knees out wide. Let's go to down, heel raise. Come up, other side. Nice work, squeeze that butt. Ooh. Good job. Make sure you're breathing. Keep your chest up, shoulders back and down. Ooh. 15 seconds. Squeeze it. Nice work. One. Okay. Back to our sit to stand on our right leg first. Grab your weight. Let's do it. Sit back. Kneel back to your heel. Come up. Kick. Squat. Down. Sit it back. Up. Kick. And squat. Nice job. Up, kick, squat. How are your legs feeling? Starting to burn, right? Even if you're not holding any weight at all, you should start to feel this. <sighs> All right, we're getting the other leg right now. Sit it back, <sighs> lean back, come up, kick, side squat. <sighs> Good work. you're breathing. Sit it down, back to that heel, press up and kick. Down. Make sure you're not slamming down on that knee either. When you go down, you should be controlled. Okay, we have goblets. Goblet sumos. I'm sorry, not goblets. Sumos, heel raises. Down, heel up. Squeeze that booty. Woo. That little tiny heel raise makes a huge difference in this move. Good work. I feel it. Really tighten up everything. Just that one little movement. Keep your shoulders back, your chest is up. Abs are strong. Up. Five seconds, come on. Stay here. Good job. Last time through, these three moves. Beginning with your right leg, sit back again. Get your weight, hold it at your chest. Sit it back. Come up, kick, side squat. Kick, squat. Feel it. Kick. Press up, side squat. 
give 20 seconds on this leg. I know this is starting to get challenging. That supporting leg is really on fire. My shoulders are burning from holding this weight up. Okay, one more round of those sit backs on the opposite leg. Five seconds, let's go. Gosh, when you're used to 10 second break intervals, oh, five seconds is just nothing. Barely enough time to switch moves. Stay in it, focus. You're working your core, you're working your butt. If you're working your arms and your shoulders, if you're holding weight, up, kick, breathe it. Come on, you have 15 seconds here. Nice work, stay in it. Five, three, two, and one. Good job. Got our sumos, heel raises. Drop that weight down between your legs. Toes out wide, knees out wide. Squat it. Heel raise and up. Other side. Down. Up. Good job. Stay with me. Squeeze those calf muscles. down. You're breathing. Oh. Nice job. Five, four, three, two, and one. Oh my goodness. All right, set your weight down. We're moving on. We have a killer four minute as many rounds as possible coming up. We're doing 10 reps goblet squat, so you're holding your weight at your chest. 10 rep goblet squat to half, so you're at the bottom of the squat. It's almost like a pulse. You're doing halfway up from the bottom up for 10. Then we're doing a true goblet squat pulse for 10. And then we're doing five double burpees. A double burpee this round is going to be two plank hops, two push ups, and two jumps at the top, okay? Everything that you have in a burpee, but you're doubling it up. So let me set my timer. We have four minutes that we are going to be working straight through, trying not to take any breaks at all. All right, 10 second countdown is started. Beginning with the goblet squat. So grab your weight, hold it at your chest. Feet are a little bit wider than hip width. Sink it down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Ten half squats. Let's go. One, two, three. Four, five, ooh, burns. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Ten pulses. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Drop that weight. We have five double burpees. Here we go. Two plank hops. One, two, two push ups. Two plank hops. Two hops. That's one. Two. Three. Stay with me. Let's go.
to the balance squats. Whew. Put that weight up. 10 regular goblet squats. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten half squats. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten pulses. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Double burpees. Make sure when you're pulsing, you're not bouncing. That's a muscle movement. Let's go.
Lift that leg up, front, behind. Five. All right, back to our curtsy lunges. Let's go. Down for 10. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And 10, switch legs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Set one weight down. Play eight pulses. Woo. We have. Just over two and a half minutes left. Stay with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Our BT stands. Let's go. Push up. T stand. Toe tap front. Toe tap back. That's one. Two, three, four, and five. One more time, come on. We have a minute and a half left. Ten on each leg. Let's go. One. Two. Get your balance. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, oh, and 10, other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more. Ten, set that weight down. Play your pulses for ten. Get down low. Let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Set your weight down. Get one burpee in. Come on. Uh, we don't have it. <laughs> I thought maybe we could do it. Nice work. We have rep based moves coming at you. We're doing 30 reps deadlifts, 30 reps sumo deadlifts, and a weighted glute bridge for 30 reps. All right, and we're repeating those twice. Starting with regular Romanian style deadlifts. Toes are facing forward, a little bit wider than hip width, knees are soft. Keep your weights close to your body. We have 30, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 25, 
come for a beat. Walk around. We have 30 sumo deadlifts. So your toes are out wide. Your knees are bent a little bit more. Your weights are still staying close to your body. Going for 30. Deep breath. Let's do it. Squeeze your butt and your hamstrings. One, two, three, at the bottom. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, 17, 18, 19, 20. Just 
on fire at this point. <laughs> at least mine is. Okay. Here we go. Toes out wide, knees out wide, legs a little bit more bent. We're going for 30. Goodness, we have the weighted bridges for 30. <sighs> Get down, let's go right into it. Don't rest those booties. <sighs> Set the weight across your hips, feet are up or on the ground, <sighs> and let's go. Make sure you squeeze for a beat at the top. <sighs> One, <sighs> two. Let's 
that's 15. Holy cow, my legs are shaking. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay. 20 play eight hops. Toes out wide, knees out wide. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, ten, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Oh. All right, moving on to Tabata rounds. We have three moves. We're doing 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, three times through. So that'll be nine rounds total. Deep breath while I set my timer. All right, we have bunny hops in place, rocket lunges, and plank thrusters for our first Tabata triplet. 10 second countdown started. Bunny hops in place. So it's just little tiny squat hops. Bouncing on the balls of your feet if you can. Come on, let's start with 20 second intervals. Keep your heels up off the ground. Stay low. 10 seconds. All right, rocket lunges. I'm alternating. So, lunge back. Rock it up. Here we go. Lunge back. Rock it up. I'm going to touch down with my lunge. Knee drive it up. Okay, plank thrusters, just what it sounds like. You're basically doing a plank hop but you keep your legs bent at the top. So you're gonna land like this. Here we go. Plank. Land on your toes. Keep your heels up. Back to bunny hops.
your toes. You got this. So, one leg forward, the other leg up. Switch. Shoot that leg back. Nice work. All right, skaters. So, Slide the side house, touch it down at your foot, cross that back leg behind you. Here we go. Nice big hops. Use the room that you have to make this work for you. Keep your chest up, squat down with your legs, stick your butt out to touch. Okay. Squat jumps forward and back. Deep breath. Here we go. Nice work. Legs 
body on fire. Make sure you thank Kristen for this routine. Make sure you give yourself time to stretch it out, catch your breath, drink water, replenish your body, and I will see you next time.